NASA's chief Bill Nelson has said that NASA continues its search for life in the universe. NASA has been at the forefront of space exploration, sending humans into space and launching probes to the edges of our solar system. Each year we learn new things about the universe that we live in, helping us to better understand what could be out there. Interestingly, Bill Nelson has been vocal about mysterious aircrafts and has shown a continued interest in their capabilities and where they're coming from. One of the most recent announcements to come from them was that national security agencies are well aware of these objects, but noted that as each new report comes in, new questions are raised, and the majority of the time these questions never get answered. These national security agencies have admitted that many of these aircrafts seem to have the ability to perform maneuvers that are highly advanced. According to one study that was released by top intelligence officials, they reported that in total, over 500 unidentified aircrafts had been observed in protected airspace or near sensitive facilities. The report was submitted to United States officials, and those in Congress, and also the Director of National Intelligence, have said that further studies are needed and that we need to better understand what these aircrafts are. One of the positives that comes from these reports is there's been a reduced stigma. For years, anyone showing interest in this topic would usually be dismissed, but because high-up military officials, soldiers, pilots, and former intelligence members have come forward with their testimonies, the topic has since been taken more seriously, and now even NASA is getting involved in these studies, saying that they are working with military officials to help aid where they can. Due to the amount of sightings that are reported every year, along with the hundreds of thousands of declassified documents that have been submitted by government officials, it's led some to say that perhaps this whole time, intelligent life has been right under our noses. Mysterious aircrafts have long been a hot topic, with some believing that the crafts are genuine, while others have said that they can be easily explained as everyday things like planes and military aircrafts. Ideas for what these are range from advanced crafts sent from other worlds, advanced probes that may be looking out for other life forms, or even that these things are forms of higher intelligence, and that as of right now we can't understand their workings. Bill Nelson, who is NASA's newest administrator, has said that he wants to get to the bottom of what these things are, saying that NASA will actively research this topic in order to help give a definitive answer for what they are. He openly said that the reports by military officials have caught the interest of scientists worldwide, and that their goal is to try and further research this topic in order to better understand what eyewitnesses have been seeing. These comments have divided people. NASA has never been open to the idea of mysterious aircrafts, actively going out of its way to shoot down any ideas that these crafts are genuine, which has frustrated those who have looked into the phenomena. But some have said that this could be a good chance for the company to be more open-minded about this topic, with many saying that it's clear that something is going on, noting that military pilots have been encountering these aircrafts for years now, and that it's only been in the last few years that people are starting to open up to the idea of these aircrafts being genuine. Recent reports showed us that out of hundreds of sightings of mysterious aircrafts that were reported by pilots, only one of these could be explained. It's due to this that people are hoping that NASA can shine a light on what these things are, and that it may usher us into a new era where we become more open-minded. Those who are heavily invested in the topic have said that it's good that a high-up NASA official has acknowledged these aircrafts and hope that we can get an answer in the near future for what these things are. Bill Nelson said the following about the sightings made by United States Navy pilots. I have received the classified version as well. I've seen the report. It said basically what we thought, and that's that we don't know the answer for what those Navy pilots saw, and those Navy pilots knew that they saw something. They tracked it, locked their radar onto it, and they followed it. It would suddenly move from one location to another, and what the report does tell us is that there's been over 140 of these sightings. So naturally what I ask our scientists to do is to see if there's any kind of explanation from a scientific point of view, and as of right now I'm waiting for their report. He was then asked about his feelings about what he thought they were, and if he could explain them. He said the following. I talked to the Navy pilots when we were briefed in the Senate Armed Services Committee, and my feeling is that there is clearly something there. It may not necessarily be an extraterrestrial, but if it's a technology that some of our adversaries have, then we better be concerned. When it comes to the universe, it's so large that we have a program in NASA called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, 
but thus far we don't have any receipt of communication from something that would be intelligent. The next question the reporter asked Bill Nelson was, do you think this report is just going to create more anxiety and theories around this topic? People want an explanation, and people want to know what these things are. He responded with the following. Ever since the Navy pilot video came out, people are hungry to know, and they want to know what's out there in the cosmos. Are we alone? Personally, I don't think that we are. The universe is so big, it's 13.5 billion years ago when the universe started. But people are hungry for this kind of information, and we're going to keep on searching. Many people found these comments interesting, as NASA hasn't really been vocal about the topic of mysterious crafts, and when they have been asked questions they usually just shut them down immediately. But people gave praise to Bill Nelson as it came across that he has a much more open mind. One of the things that people picked up on was the fact that he said the United States is very advanced and that he doesn't think that other countries have this type of technology. The question then put forward is, who owns these things? If the biggest powerhouse on the planet has admitted that it isn't them, and even officials are saying that they don't have this type of technology, then who do they belong to? One of the issues with this is that there's many different theories floating around at the moment, and people have found it strange how these officials are suddenly changing their tune. After all, governments and space agencies have never been vocal about these mysterious crafts, but all of a sudden they are claiming that they don't know what these objects are. There's some who speculated that it's got to the point that they have to be honest, while others have said that they may have a motive of their own, with some noting that whenever this topic gets brought up, it's shortly followed by the military asking for a much bigger budget. NASA is still prioritizing their missions, which look for signs of life. Going back, NASA's then chief scientist Ellen Stofan claimed that by 2025, scientists will most likely discover prominent signs of life somewhere in the universe, saying that all of the data that NASA have gathered point towards us making a big discovery sometime in the near future. This announcement was made while she was speaking at a panel discussion, which heavily focused on NASA's search for habitable worlds. She said the following, I think we're going to have strong indications of life beyond Earth within a decade, and I think we're going to have definitive evidence within 20 to 30 years. We know where to look. We know how to look. In most cases, we have the technology, and we're on a path to implementing it. And so I think we're definitely on the road. NASA's space telescope was retired in 2018, but during its mission, it revealed to scientists that pretty much every star in the sky hosts planets, many of which could have similar conditions to Earth. Just because other planets aren't as similar to Earth, though, it doesn't mean that they can't host life. Researchers have been open about this discussion and have said that when it comes to the universe, it could be filled with weird and wonderful life forms, many of which may not look like anything that we have here on Earth. Paul Hertz, who is director of NASA's Astrophysics Division, described the Milky Way galaxy as being a soggy place. He said the following, We can see water in the interstellar clouds from which planetary systems and stellar systems form. We can see water in the disks of debris that are going to become planetary systems around other stars, and we can even see comets being dissipated in other solar systems as their star evaporates them. Scientists have now said that we should be focusing on exoplanets, Many of these exoplanets that have been detected are planets with thick and heavy atmospheres that are abundant with hydrogen, which allows for oceans to exist and flourish even under immense amounts of heat. This is the name given to the mini-Neptunes that match the description of potential life-having planets. These planets tend to be fully composed of water with no continents and often have permanent mist rising from the heated waters. Further research into exoplanets may reveal the truth to us within the next handful of years as we develop and establish what we truly mean by habitable. Another scientist from the University of Montreal claims that we, as a species, have far too high expectations, saying that there may be other ways of finding other life that are not dinosaurs crawling around on the surface. Even though it is not the easiest thing to do, these mini-Neptunes can be tested. There are countless mini-Neptunes in space, and based on their positions and surroundings, we will be able to correctly guess whether they have a chance at being habitable or not. According to scientists, even if only 5% of the mini-Neptune match the requirements, it would still give scientists an incredible number of planets to investigate. Dr. Niku Madasun from Cambridge's Institute of Astronomy said the following, This result greatly expands our chances of finding life.
By using the host star, astronomers are able to estimate the mass of an exoplanet to determine whether it is made of gas or rock, but it is near impossible to determine whether it has a solid or gas core. However, in 2019, thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers were able to glimpse into the atmosphere of K218b, one of these mini-Neptunes, and discovered evidence of clouds and water vapor. Furthermore, just recently it was announced that there is a possibility that one of these planets could have enough water to sustain earthly life. In Dr. Niku's words, For the first time, we demonstrated that planets can be significantly larger than Earth and still have livable conditions. The desired outcome for astronomers is to find an Earth-like planet on which we could thrive, to find the ideal Earth twin, which unfortunately is much easier said than done, considering this planet would have to be around the same mass as Earth, the same size, orbit, and neither too far from the host star as the oceans would freeze or too close for the oceans would boil. While exoplanets in the cosmos could surely have Earth-like life on them, scientists have stated it is best not to assume that these planets' conditions will be suitable for humans. Currently, the task is to find alien life, not to find another suitable habitat for ourselves. These mini-Neptunes are an in-between being a gas giant and a dwarf, small versions of our huge icy planets. Unfortunately, as mini-Neptunes are far from us, we have not yet developed a way to study them up close, thus shrouding them in mystery. So, what do you make of these mysterious aircrafts? Where do you think they're coming from? And how do you think they're able to achieve the things they do? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.